Hello students, welcome to Akshar IIT Foundation. I am a physics teacher. So, myself Shivashankar. So, we will continue the last topic. We are discussing about the motion of an object. Okay, kinematics we are discussing. In that, we have discussed the different types of motions. The last class we have discussed and uh, we completed the conceptual based questions we have completed and uh, in the exercise we have completed two problems. Okay. So, next to continuation of that uh, we will see there. Next the third problem we will see here. In the third problem they have given, the third problem they have given here. Rotating blades of an uh, electric fan undergoes dash motion. Rotating blades of an electric uh, <coughs> fan undergoes dash motion okay it is the circular uh, circulating circular motion okay third one third answer third answer is so the exercise exercise uh, one exercise one it's the third question two questions we have discussed already now third question it is Rotating blades of an electric fan. Rotating blades of an electric fan. Electric fan will be there, no? The blades of electric fan are the <coughs> circulating motion, circular motion, circular motion, circular motion. So now the answer option is, so option, option three is correct. Option three is correct there. Second, fourth one you will see there. So the circular motion will be so it is an example a rotating fan blades of a rotating uh, electrical fan is the example for the circular motion okay then whole uh, rotation of the fan fan will be the example for the rotatory motion there okay now an object is uh, said to be in fourth one an object is said to be in dash if it uh, moves from one position to other position along a straight line in one direction only Okay, an object is uh, said to be in a uh, dash if moving from one place to an, another place along a straight line. Along a straight line. Suppose if object is moving from one place to other place, okay, in along a straight line, then <coughs> what is that motion is said to be? It may be the translated motion or it is also said to be the rectilinear motion. <coughs> Here the options are given. <coughs> Excuse me. Oscillator motion, random motion, circular motion, the rectilinear motion is said. So, it is the <coughs> rectilinear motion. So, answer is here rectilinear motion. So, option is rectilinear motion, rectilinear motion, and the option is option 4. Option 4 is correct option 4 is correct there okay now fifth one fifth answer fifth answer to and fro motion of an object is dash dash motion to and fro motion of object is said to be the it is oscillatory motion oscillatory motion or oscillatory motion oscillatory motion or it is also said to be the vibratory motion, vibratory motion, vibratory motion, vibratory motion. So, now the answer option, here the option is in the given option. So, options are given here that is <coughs> vibrating motion, circular motion, rectilinear motion and random motion. So, I, option 1, option 1 here. So, they have given this one, then option correct. Option 1 is right. <coughs> now, next to sixth one, sixth answer. Sixth answer. A battalion moving in a parade, uh, parade is an example of for dash motion. A battalion moving in a, so army battalion will be there, no? Moving in a parade is an example of, it is linear motion or no? rectil, uh, rectilinear motion. Options are given here, first option. Linear motion, second option is given circular motion and third option is given rotatory motion, then uh, fourth option is given random motion. Okay, So, here sixth one is battalion moving in a straight line path, battalion moving in a parade, 
okay but beta line moving in a parallel is example of linear motion rectilinear motion we can say so here the answer is given options are given here linear motion so here we can say this is the answer linear motion or rectilinear motion or it is rectilinear motion rectilinear motion so now the option is what here option option 1 option 1 is correct option 1 is right answer okay option 1 is right answer is clear now we'll see the next term exercise 7th uh, one in the exercise 1 7th one, one we'll see that clear now this one 7th one we'll see <coughs> seventh question windmill is an example of dash motion windmill is example of dash motion windmill is example of dash motion so here is given there linear vibratory uh, rotatory then random motion okay so windmill an example of windmill an example of uh, rotatory motion rotatory motion rotatory motion rotatory motion the blades of the windmill is the example of circular motion and the rotation uh, rotatory motion this one the windmill an example of rotatory motion okay so now the option is here option <coughs> option no uh, option 3 option 3 is correct option 3 is correct one <coughs> option 3 is right one okay in a well the pulley on which the rope runs has dash motion in a well in a well the pulley on which rope runs as an example of as dash motion so it is a vibratory motion circular motion pulley motion of the pulley rope runs <coughs> rectilinear motion random motion <coughs> about a fixed point rope will be runs now in a well a pulley on which the rope uh, runs as dash motion rope is moving on the wheel so there is a pulley is there now <coughs> so here the options are given there vibratory motion circular motion rectilinear motion random motion okay it is a example of circular motion in a well the pulley on which the rope runs the rope runs the rope runs there so here the wheel will be move motion of the wheel will be the <coughs> circular motion and the motion of the rope will be the vibratory motion like it will be move come down when if it is uh, the bucket is going into the well it is the in one direction and whenever it is coming outwards whenever it is coming up then we can say it there vibratory motion so here uh, rope runs on which rope runs they said there so it is uh, about the rope motion of the rope we can say the pulley on which rope runs as a the pulley on which rope runs has a dash motion so it is about they are saying about the pulley so it is the circular motion so eighth one we can write here circular mo motion eighth answer is circular motion circular motion so here we can write there that is <coughs> option 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 2 option 2 option 2 is right answer is clear no next ninth one ninth question the motion of earth around the sun the motion of earth around the sun is dash as the earth takes 365 365 of 1 by 4 to days to complete one revolution so simply they are asking here the motion of the earth which is rotating here around the sun okay so the not only the sun all the planets motion of the all the planets about the sun in the solar system it is the periodic motion in a regular interval of time they will be rotate around the stars around the sun okay 
So then we can write here ninth one, periodic motion, <coughs> motion of the earth <coughs> around the sun is dash <coughs> as the earth takes a 365 one by fourth day to complete one revolution. <coughs> it is a periodic motion, answer is a periodic motion, means periodic motion is nothing but what there, it will be complete it will be repeats its motion in regular interval of time is called the periodic motion. So, then uh, periodic uh, motion <coughs> then the option is what here option no. option 1 option 1 is right answer option 1 is right answer ok. The movement of moon around the earth uh, is repeating uh, after every 30 days after every 30 days means here they are asking uh, and dash is the motion. So, it is also periodic motion about the earth the moon will be rotate for a month in a month it will be rotate it will be complete one round. So, like that for every month it will be repeat its motion. So, it is said to be the periodic motion it is the periodic motion. So, this is also option 1 only 10th one is also here option 1 is given there. So, 10th answer is periodic motion periodic motion periodic motion option option 1 that is option 1 periodic motion at option 1 ok. Next 11th one the movement of hands of a clock is an example of dash motion movement of hands clocks. So, this is also movement of hands clock see in the hands clock see clock wall clock is there you no. Know, so, or hands clock or wrist watch. So, there also if it is a hands clock then uh, there is a uh, hours hand, minutes hand and seconds hands will be there. They will be rotate ok, they will be rotate periodically it will be rotated there. So, for uh, for a minute it will be complete uh, if seconds hand will be complete one rotation if complete one rotation then uh, that is said to be the one minute no 60 seconds it will be complete there like that ok. So, then uh, minutes and if it is complete one rotation then we can say it is the 60 uh, means 60 minutes means one hour like that. So, then hour sign it will be uh, it will be come to one uh, uh, one digit to the other digit it will come there ok like that it will be more there. So, uh, 11th one is the movement of hands of a clock is an example of a periodic motion ok. It will be repeats its uh, motion in a regular interval of time. So, it is also said to be the periodic motion periodic motion. Now, here also option it is given in the first only. So, option 1 option 1 is right option 1 is the correct. Now, 12th one <coughs> 12th one. 12th one ok. The motion that is not repeated at regular interval of time is called the motion that does not uh, that not repeated reg at regular interval of time that is called here the options are given there periodic, non periodic, random and the rectilinear ok. So, here we can write there that is a uh, it is not repeating in the regular interval of time, but it is repeating its motion then we can say it is a non periodic motion no. So, we have to set there 12th one, 12th one non periodic motion. So, 12th one is 12th answer non periodic motion, non periodic motion, non periodic, non periodic motion there ok. Now, the option is now the option is uh, 2 option is 2. So, 12th one is non periodic motion it does not uh, repeat its uh, it will it will be repeat, but it is not in regular interval of time ok. The motion which is repeats uh, in a regular interval of time uh, that motion is said to be the periodic motion. So, it repeats its motion, but is not in the regular interval of time means that is a non periodic motion ok. 
that is non periodic motion. <coughs> now, next to 13th one the beating of heart is <coughs> dash motion, beating of heart, okay. Beating of heart is dash motion. So, it is a periodic motion, non periodic motion, random motion, uh, rectilinear motion there. <coughs> So, this is also we can say it is a uh, heart will be beats for uh, second in a second it will be beats uh, 22 times no uh, sorry 72 times no. So, then uh, for every second it will be uh, beats 22 times then we can say it is a periodic motion it is also said to be the here options are given for uh, <coughs> 13th one first option is periodic non periodic random rectilinear motion. The heart beats are different or uh, walking briskly or sitting idle. <coughs> so, generally a heart beat will be depend on the motion of a mean uh, motion of a body there. <coughs> if you <we> run, <coughs> excuse me, if you run then the heart beat will become increases now. So, like that uh, uh, in a whole day we can see that the, the heartbeat will be different there. So, then we can say generally it is normal beating is uh, for a minute it will be uh, we can say here that is periodic uh, periodic 72 times it will be beat there and uh, non periodic means if you consider they given in the bracket that is heart beats are different or walking briskly uh, sitting idle there. So, it is depend on the motion of our body, okay. So, then um, we can say it is non periodic now, okay. For normal, in normal condition, it is a periodic. In different conditions, it will be the non periodic. So, we can write here uh, the answer is option uh, 2. 13th answer is 13th answer non periodic, we can write here non periodic uh, motion, non periodic. So, here we can write option. So, there is also option 2 here. It is also option 2. Now, 14th one we will see an automobile move, an automobile moving in a straight road is an example of an automobile moving in a straight road, a bus is moving in a straight road. That is all our examples of those are all the examples of rectilinear motion or linear motion ok. So, it is the 14th answer is 14th answer is it is an example of a rectilinear motion rectilinear rectilinear motion rectilinear motion. So, here we can write the option is option <coughs> option uh, 4 option 4 okay next of uh, 15th one we'll see that 15th one the wheels of an automobile uh, moving on a straight road is an example of motion the wheels of an automobile moving on a straight road is an example of dash motion first option is given here curvilinear motion Second option is given here uh, rectilinear motion, circular motion and rotatory and translatory motion. So, generally if you observe there uh, the v, uh, vehicle is moving, no? suppose car it may be the bus, whatever it may be, we can see there the V will, will be rotate uh, about its uh, axis, about its axis and it also will be rotate on the, it will be move on the road, ok. It will move on the road. Even for all the motor automobiles, there it will be rotated about its axis and it will be moved there on the straight road. Means here there are two motions are we can observe there. That is rotatory motion. If a body is rotating about its particular axis, then we can say it is a rotatory motion. So that will be present. And it is moving on the straight road. It is moving on the straight road. Then uh, then all the particles of the body, all the particles of the vehicles, all the particles of the wheels is moving from one place to other place. So, here there are uh, two motions are involved that is rotatory motion, rotatory motion and the uh, uh, translatory motion, ok. So, we can write here option 4, both motions will be present there that is rotatory motion, rotatory motion 
and uh, uh, rectilinear motion rectilinear motion rectilinear or we can say it is a translatory motion translatory translatory motion translatory motion Trans rectilinear motion or translatory motion. So, option here option is uh, option uh, 4, fourth option is correct, fourth option is correct there. <coughs> now, last question in this uh, 16th one, the motion of a swing, uh, swing machine, the motion of a swing machine is, it will be uh, like Swing machine will be there, no? That is the motion. Option one is given here. The motion of swing machine uh, needle is oscillatory. Its uh, wheels in circular motion. The needle of the swing machine is in a circular motion. So the swing machine. Uh, there are two motions. Uh, the the swing will be the needle of the swing machine will be the in vibratory motion, and uh, the wheel. The wheel. Uh, will be the wheel of the swing machine can be it is in it is in the motion of the swing machine needle will be oscillatory and its wheel will be in circular motion its wheel will be in circular motion wheel will be rotate about at a fixed point okay so we can say it is a circular motion so then we can write here uh, both one and two we can write uh, the needle of swing machine in a circular motion needle will not be moving in a circular motion needle will be move in a vibratory or oscillatory motion so we can write here 16th one 16th answer, 16th answer we can write there both the 1 and 2, both 1 and 2. So, they are here uh, needle will be needle of the sewing machine, needle of sewing machine in uh, <coughs> vibratory motion or oscillatory motion, both are same now vibratory motion and uh, this one um, wheel its wheel its wheel will be its wheel will be in its wheel will be in a circular motion circular motion circular motion circular motion okay its wheel will be in circular motion <coughs> next numerical answer type questions so in the exercise uh, choose the correct answer type questions are completed uh, we will see there now numerical answer type questions Okay. Numerical answer type question. If one uh, coordinate is uh, sufficient to specify the motion of a particle completely, then its motion is called. Okay. So, 16th one, <coughs> numerical answer type questions. Numerical answer type questions. Numerical answer type questions. numerical answer type questions if one coordinate uh, is sufficient to specify the position of a particle completely then its motion is called if uh, one coordinate if one coordinate is sufficient to specify the motion of a particle is completely then its motion is called there so if a body is moving in a straight line path uh, then we can uh, <coughs> write suppose in the coordinate system body is moving in a x axis along x direction no? then we can we will be we can represent only with one coordinate only no? one coordinate like only x coordinate will be present there y coordinate will be 0 on the so suppose if the body is moving on the y axis there only the y coordinate will be there then uh, x coordinate will be 0 here ok so we can say that is a one dimensional motion so 16th one uh, sorry 17th one 17th answer uh, we can say here one dimensional motion, one D, one D, <coughs> one dimensional motion. If two coordinates are sufficient to specify the motion of a particle, then the motion is called. It is the two dimensional motion. So, 18th one here, 18th answer is, 18th answer is two dimensional motion, two dimensional motion, 2D, okay, one D and 2D. So, that is about the this exercise uh, one. Now we will see there next, uh, next one. So, this is the 16th one is what there, it is uh, option 4 no, this is uh, option 4th. Ok, 
okay so next topic will start there next topic is it is about the distance and next see here in the first chapter uh, we have learned about the uh, motion and its type we have seen there okay motion and different types of motion uh, we have seen there uh, what is the motion what is the rest uh, what are the um, uh, what is the path uh, okay some basic uh, definitions we have learned there and rest and motion how they are the relative terms and absolute quantities we have seen there reference uh, frame reference point okay we have seen so now we are going to see about the <coughs> So now we are going to see about the distance and displacement. The second chapter we are going to learn about the distance and displacement. So next second chapter. Distance and displacement. Distance and displacement. Okay. So now what is the distance and uh, what is the displacement distance and displacement about this we are going to learn here in this chapter in the synopsis uh, 2 okay so now first one we will see their distance what is the distance okay so before that in the last class we have learned the path no path okay so first we will see path once again so path is nothing but it is a way simply no path is nothing but it is a simply way in which the body is moving Okay, suppose you are coming from your school to home, you will be going in a different uh, way, in different way, no? So, means you will be crossed different positions, different uh, positions uh, in, you, in your journey. So, then uh, if you join uh, that all the positions uh, which you have crossed, then that will give the way, that is way, the way is nothing but here path, okay? So, we can say and it can be defined as, this path can be defined as the line joining the successive positions of a object in its journey in its journey is called the path okay suppose if a body has uh, started from its journey uh, started its journey from this point uh, from a point a and it went to point b then point c point d and point e and f suppose <coughs> so this is a point b and here c it is d and this is e and it is f <coughs> a body has started from point A and it ends uh, its, its, uh, its journey at point of F. Then, so if you join these all the positions, these are the different positions uh, of a body in its journey. Then if you join these all the positions by a line, then that is called the path. It, here we are getting a path. The path here we can write the path is nothing but what here path is equals to A, B, C, D, E, F. This is a path now. This is a path. So, the line joining the successive positions of an object in its journey is called the path. Okay. The, the line, the line joining the, the line joining the successive positions, successive positions, successive positions of an object of an object now in its journey in its journey in its journey is called is called a path in its journey is called path <coughs> okay so a b c d e f is the path now so now we understood the path then uh, distance what is the distance here distance distance we are going to learn now distance. Distance, this distance is nothing but the total length of this path is nothing but the distance. The total length of the path. Suppose the body has traveled from A to F. The body has traveled from uh, a position of A to position of F. Then, so how much length it has traveled? That is nothing but the distance there. That if you measure to total. Uh, the length covered by the body is said to be the distance okay so then here we can define this from that only from the diagram the the total length of the path the total the total 
length of the path the total length of the path the total length of the path is called is called distance is called distance or we can say the total uh, <coughs> length covered by the body is also said to be the uh, distance okay so now suppose here uh, how to measure this uh, we have to measure there we should get a value here distance will give the certain value it will be have certain magnitude suppose in this diagram in the diagram if eb is a uh, 2 meters and this is 3 meters if it is a 5 meter it is a 4 meters 5 meters and 6 meters suppose then the distance from initial position to the final position that we can write here af af will be the distance that can be written as the total length we have to measure the total length of, of uh, different positions in which it has crossed okay so then that is ab plus uh, bc plus cd plus uh, de plus uh, ef plus ef okay so now here this is a uh, ab ab how much it is ab is the 2 meters it has and uh, bc is 3 meters and this is a uh, 4 meters plus uh, DE is 5 meters plus EF is the 6 meters. How much we get this? This is a 5 and here 5, 10, 16, 20, no? 20. Okay. This is a 10 and this is a 10. So it is 5, 5, 10 and this is 10. It is a 20. 20 meters distance traveled by the body is 20 meters. The distance traveled by the body is 20 meters. Okay. The total length traveled by the body, total length covered by the body is called the distance total length covered by the body is distance so though see here there is a this distance will have certain the magnitude magnitude is nothing but the numerical value it will be have certain numerical value and followed by its unit this length will be measured in what there in meters if it is a uh, certain medium distance then we can measure in meters if it is a longer distance kilometers and if it is a smaller distance like centimeters even more smaller distance we can measure in millimeters even more smaller we can measure that is in the um, millimeter micrometers and nanometers like that all the uh, measurements all the distances all the lengths smaller lengths can be measured with that and uh, longer measurements are measured with the meters kilometers or uh, megameter like that and see here now this meters so, and here it will be have the only magnitude and there are many directions are involved here the, from A to B it is moving in upwards and B to C it is coming downwards and C to D it is going uh, upwards and again like that it is going up and down it is going up and down so we can we cannot specify in a particular direction so here so then we can say here it will it is this distance not a direction we cannot specify a direction so we can say it is a no direction for the distance there is no direction but only it has the magnitude it will be have the numerical value and followed by its unit is called the magnitude so the distance will have both uh, the distance will have uh, it has only the magnitude there is no direction okay so that quantities are uh, known as in the first chapter we have learned there like scalar quantity now so then distance is a scalar quantity distance is a scalar quantity distance uh, is a scalar quantity it is a scalar quantity distance is a scalar quantity scalar quantity distance is the scalar quantity okay and uh, the si unit of this distance si unit of this distance is it is a me, uh, meters si unit of distance is distance can be measured in meters so si unit of uh, me, distance is meters okay and it is also has the dimensional formula in uh, first chapter units and dimensions units and measurements we have learned the dimensional formula no so it is a length no length fundamental physical quantity is length so length is measured in meters so dimensional formula will be represented in the fundamental physical quantity so it is a distance is nothing but is a length then so it is denoted then it is denoted by the dimensional formula with the l with l so <coughs> Okay, this first one is completed. Next points I write uh, at the top here. Okay, so next uh, 
we can write here dimensional formula or we can write here next to point about the distance it is uh, distance is measured distance is a uh, measured distance is measured uh, in in meters in meters it is nothing but si unit si unit so it is m is nothing but meter okay otherwise i'll write here meter meters it will measure in meters and symbol is here m this is nothing but the si unit it is the si unit si unit is nothing but what we have learned now in the first chapter international system of unit system of international unit system of international unit si unit and next here uh, this one <coughs> and the dimensional formula of the dimensional formula of the dimensional uh, formula of the dimensional formula of uh, distance dimensional formula of uh, distance is is capital l in a bracket capital l capital l will be the dimensional formula okay and uh, the diameter this uh, speed uh, always it has a positive value only it will be it is a positive value okay the distance always distance always always has a positive value positive value positive value positive value it has only positive value okay there is no negative value and uh, zero okay it will be always a positive value it will be have a number okay and next one about the distance so uh, this is about the distance there tomorrow we are going to learn about the displacement mean the next class in the next class we are going to learn about the uh, displacement and we'll see what are the differences between this displacement and the distance and we'll do some of the numericals on the displacement and distance okay so this is about the today topic it is displacement and the distance okay yes. thank you children